Okay, uh, now let's look at the art fitting. Uh, make sure you have this file. So I have two process here. Uh, let's look at first the wrapping process and let's do a posting. I will select the DIY post. Okay, um, first I will add the art, art this is art fitting, uh, I will put it to none and uh, execute. Alright, so just for you to see the code, mm, there you are. Uh, let's put some tool. Uh, time it to, uh, let's say 10 okay right right so you the dark blue color is actually the arc so if I click on this I click the you bring us to the z02 or z03 motions okay for roughing procedure most of the time uh, even if you don't fit any up the motion you have some arcs okay you have some arcs uh, but for the helix the helix the ramping ramping helix here it is uh, the white color means that this is a linear motion it is always a g01 motions and if you want to change the helix right and you can go to here on this fit up and uh, helix up on the xy plane and this is the up fit uh, tolerance okay then uh, let's pause again and, and now you can see the code now This is the code. Now it's a full. It's a helix. Okay. So this option here help you to uh, fit all the helix move and uh, arc. Uh, all the G one move. Uh, if possible, uh, fit it to a uh, circular motions, and this is the tolerance. Uh, don't use a big tolerance; uh, this will give you some uh, problems. Yeah. Try use a small tolerance, and yeah, to avoid the arc, arc fit uh, problem, arc fit tolerance. Um, okay, you can have option here also, you know, to change for some reason, uh, for some reasons, right? You can have the option to output all the as a linear motion, everything, and the parameter to convert. G02 to G01 is this one up to linear tolerance this one and now you can see here no more G02 and G03 okay sometimes for some machine you need to do that why and I don't know <laughs> and yeah, let's change so I okay.
let's go back to Silmanton. Now let's look at this finishing here. Uh, for finishing, uh, let me show you the arc Silmanton display TP. Right, you can see it here. This is actually the arc, and how do you know this is the arc? How do you know this is a arc? Mm, let me go to ah here. I think this one right here. Uh, is it an arc block? Yes, there you are. It will give you a radius. Indicate this motion is an arc. It's not a linear. Right. That's roughing. Uh, for finishing, for finishing, everything is uh, everything actually is a a linear motion, GG1 motion. Look, everything and no radius. Right. I will post So if you are doing finishing my recommendation is don't fit don't fit okay because uh, if you fit it will add in a uh, tolerance tolerance to the code okay and i have some experience that uh, when you do machining the surface is is not good you have some uh, scratches right due to the tolerance yeah uh, if for some reason if you want uh, still okay but make sure you key in a very tight tolerance okay don't put a big tolerance I'm going to show you uh, without now this code is without the arcs you can see everything is linear Z1 arc all is Z1 now I'm going to post again with this tolerance and fit. Uh, you can say fit up only, uh, also without the helical if you want. Right? I can do this also, or I can choose both. Yeah. And now you can see uh, all the code, all is uh, G3, now G3, and it's using IJ, yeah, so if you don't like IJ, you can always change to R, and you give your R, IJ, now it's R. Okay, so that's it. This is the up fitting options.